In this worksheet called Nested VLOOKUP, we're trying to come up with the regional tax rate for each of the entries here. The data off to the left, presumably each one is for a different person. We're trying to come up with this regional tax rate based on the state where the person resides. Sometimes we need to use VLOOKUP twice. And a VLOOKUP within a VLOOKUP, a nested VLOOKUP, is even going to make some sense, as it will here. What we need to do, first of all, as we look at the two tables off to the right, is recognize that the tax rates come out of a table identified by regions and number of dependents. In the first example, looking at the data off to the left here, we've got somebody who lives in Florida. So we have to find out which region Florida is in. You can see by the list in columns J and K that Florida is in SE, the southeast region. Once we find that it's southeast, then we can use southeast to look up data in the table in columns M through U over here to find out, based on the number of dependents also, what that rate is. So we begin by using a VLOOKUP here to look up Florida, comma, in the list that's in columns J and K. And once again, using the entire column reference will make sense here, comma. The answers will come out of the second column, that's two, comma, and this needs to be an exact match. We've got to find Florida exactly. So we'll either type in zero or false, makes no difference. And for the moment, we will have the identification for Florida. Its region is SE. But now we want to use that as a way to look up information in the table off to the right. Think of that as the first component of another VLOOKUP, the first argument. The outer VLOOKUP begins with this data right here. Now remember, this is equal to SE. We're looking up SE in effect. Remember, think of this as being SE. That's what we just found. We're going to say, by way of VLOOKUP, take SE, comma, and look it up in the table to the right. That's in columns M through U, right over there, comma. Which column of that table is going to have our answer. Off to the left in our data here, and I'll scroll leftward, we see the number of dependents, it's three. If you look in the table here, if it's three dependents, it's the fourth column. If it's four dependents, it's the fifth column, and so on. So we need to take the number of dependents here, plus one, and that's gonna give us the column that has the answer here. Now, when we're looking up here, remember this is SE, We've got to find SE exactly. That's got to be an exact match. So in the outer V lookup, here's the value we're looking up right here. Here's the location of the table. Here's the column of the table that's going to have the answer. And because we want this to be an exact match also, we put in a comma and then zero or false as needed and a final parentheses because we've got multiple parentheses here. Now looking ahead here, as we're looking at this, Florida, three dependents, Remember, Florida is in the southeast region. As we look at the table to the right, it's going to be in row three here. We should be coming up with an answer here of 0.6%. And as we press enter, that's the answer we get. So it is working properly, and we should be able to double click and copy this down the column. Because all the table references here are column references, we don't have to worry about absolute addresses. So we'll simply double click from the corner to get a series of other answers. So checking out another one here, here's Washington. Or let's pick one that's higher in the alphabet so we don't have to scroll. Well, here's Delaware right here. We can see in our list that it's in the MA, presumably Middle Atlantic region. So Middle Atlantic region with two dependents. We look at our list over here to the right. That should be a 1.1%, and that's what it is. So you can see at different times, how sometimes, just like with if functions, you sometimes need to use VLOOKUP functions in a nested way. A VLOOKUP function within a VLOOKUP function.